I'm Vicki Wellsfeld, one of the owners, with my sister. I'm Don Wellsfeld, the baby of the family. <laughs> and I'm Matthew Christopher, one of their designers, the couture wedding gown designer. Our favorite, one of our favorite and designers. And our best friends. <laughs> we love Great Mary. friends, great yes, friends. Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay, so our dad was in floral for many, many years, and we serviced weddings from when we were little girls. And my mom had this idea because she was an x-ray and she wanted to start a bridal business, the bridal shop, because she wanted to have everything under one roof. So she started it 40 years ago. Lo and behold, here, and we, here are. we are. We're still standing. 40 years. Going strong. So I've been a part of the Wolfsalt family since I believe 2003 or four. So, I guess we're going on almost eight to nine years. Wow. I know. Time Isn't that flies. amazing? I remember meeting him in Chicago, and Mom had met him and said, you have got to come over and see his beautiful gowns. Yeah, their family was absolutely blew me away with their kindness and their warmth, and that's how our relationship started. And, and it's nice to be someone from the Midwest and to have kind of a home base, you know, being from Iowa, and this is an Illinois store, kind of having a home base salon to be near. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, it can be challenging. Anybody knows working with family is challenging. You know, not only is it sisters, as we have our father, we deal with too. Well, it's truly a family business, and Vicki and I both have said to each other that we would never be in this business without each other. Yeah. Because it's demanding. It, well, just when you know when one person's handling a lot one day the other one will be the stronger one and take over and handle the other things so it's a really good balance because she's very much in the creative side and i'm more of the business, the business side, side and, and it yeah. it meshes fantastic we have a good balance mm -hmm. and that's Definitely. what it takes so but we do have our moments Anybody oh everybody does that. i mean i'm a family business too so right I so you understand <laughs> exactly. yeah it's like i don't like you today <laughs> no and then you know what it is it's just the aspect of dealing with all all the components that come together to make this all happen is sometimes it's overwhelming mm -hmm. and you have to as a family member I think being in business with the family member you tend to take things out on that person because they're close to you I think that's the psychology of it right I agree and, and it's different than an employee right. so mm -hmm. and what's funny now with texting is that she's doing something that's making me crazy I can just text her and so she have doesn't to have to yell at me <laughs> So I don't have to do it in front of anybody. I feel like my mother now. So then I can text her back and go, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Donna was just so kind and so eloquent. She was just so, just a very refined woman, very well-spoken, very soft-spoken, but just, just a beautiful mm -hmm. spirit. And she... I think she she had this strong um, presence in herself with mm -hmm. these with both of these girls, and I don't want to say strong in the aspect of like this kind of strong. It was strong, oh, we right? We but she, she like uh, okay, my daughters are going to listen to me. I'm going to tell them, and they listened. Oh, and we knew that when we were doing something wrong, we knew right away. Sorry, a few tears, hmm. um, but we knew right away. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we can edit part of this out. <laughs> This part's okay, but our mom was definitely the strength of this business and the forefront of the business. I guess we didn't realize how much she did. Yeah, so since her passing, Vicki and I have taken on everything that she did on top of the jobs that we're doing, so it's made it very challenging in the last three and a half years. I can tell you they have really kicked some tail, okay? Yeah. They really, you both really... I, want, I don't even want to call it stepping up. You both stepped into the shoes and you just started to do it. Well, we, just, we had to. We, we had, had no to. other choice because, yes. you know, it's our last name out there. So when it's our last name, you know, we did not want to dishonor my, our mother at all. So we knew that we had to step up into it and we had to make the business grow even more with this very tough, challenging economy. We knew that we had to step into it and just really go forward with it. Mm -hmm. I think our whole goal is to continue to be strong happy. and to make brides happy, definitely. And to do it in a very, I mean, I think we've been in the industry for 40 years now. We've seen a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. And good some and bad. good, bad, and um, 
you know, every time I think we walk in, you know, to a showroom, I hope we're the store that they all truly respect. You know, we want to really do well for the manufacturers. We fight, we fight when there's for the any bride. for the bride when there's any problems or issues. Mm -hmm. It's our name out there on the sign. Mm -hmm. It's very important to yeah. us. Recently, we had um, a bride whose mother was here to pick out a gown. It was a custom gown, and two weeks after she purchased the gown, the mom suddenly passed away. That just so they had her. to finish planning the wedding. Her, her and her sister without mm -hmm. her mother. Yeah. The mother was so excited to see the gown. Luckily, she was here to see that that she went out immediately and she bought a mother's dress. And um, and then again, passed suddenly passed away and two very weeks after. Well. And so we took. They gave us the dress. We took apart the dress and put a heart inside the dress from the mothers. It was really... Well, and the other wow. thing, too, it just broke our heart because after losing our mom, too... We could relate. We could relate, but having these two sisters, because it was the bride and her sister, and how they grew strength and kind of came together, and it was bittersweet, but, you know, their mom was looking over. Her um, we had a family that I've grown up with, or not grown up with, but I've known since they were in high school. And they bought all their prom dresses from us. And over the years, you know, there was four daughters and they all moved apart and the parents moved out of state and we had known them because they had a family business. And lo and behold, since they were, the last daughter was being married. So they all flew in from all different states in order to come here and for the last and final daughter to buy her dress from us. So that that really meant a lot to That's us. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I mean, nobody lived around her anymore and they had to fly in from all the different states. So I thought that was that was great. I think this is a generational store. I think oh, if your mother bought your dress here, your daughter's yeah. gonna buy your dress here. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. gener I think that that is the legacy of the American dream also. Mm -hmm. Like people are gonna come back, you know We see so many brides just really stress out about so much, but I feel, you know, when they find that gown and they just get that big That's smile on their it. face. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, and they just get that like little giggle in them. It's awesome. And that's the way it should be. It doesn't happen for everybody. No, it doesn't. You know, because sometimes they exhaust many other you know, stores or challenges or whatever, or maybe it might not be in their personality to really just light up and know, yeah. but when they can actually just try on a dress and they feel it, or they're just, they're like, okay, this is my dress, I can picture myself that day, it's, it's awesome. It is awesome. Mm -hmm.